What was the inspiration for Night Raven? <clears throat> That's way back. You're talking about high school. Yeah. Night Raven is an amalgam of different people, characters that I grew up with. The Phantom. You ever heard of the Phantom? Mm -hmm. The Phantom goes back to the 30s. It was a newspaper serial. The Phantom was he was a an abandoned child in the in the jungles, but no, he wasn't abandoned. I think that's say. Okay. His father, his father's father, it kind of ties into what, what I did with Night Raven. They were the Phantoms go back to uh, like the 1700s. It was their route, their ancestor who was. Marooned on this this jungle island, pirates had taken over the ship, and his father was the captain of the ship, and so he got marooned. He you know, basically an orphan, and he swore vengeance on all the pirates. So he was the first phantom. And of course, when he grew up. He had children, and his son became the phantom. And they call him the ghost who walks, because there's always been a phantom. You can't kill the phantom. I love that story, so I tie that in with Night Raven. Night Raven is the 27th Night Raven. He is family go back to the Middle Ages, back to the Knights Templar. There's a, there's a whole backstory there. There's a little bit of Batman in there. Batman, I did not have Batman. But if you look at the origin of Batman, who was Batman made of? All right. Batman was made up from. Sherlock Holmes, Zorro, and Dracula. Those were the three inspirations for I'm trying to think of his name. Help me out here. Who we talking about Zorro? No, who created Bob Kane. Yep. See, I think about it. when Bob Kane was creating Batman, those were his inspirations were Zorro, Dracula. And Sherlock Holmes. So there's a little bit of Batman in there. In fact, in issue number six, five and six, there, I have an adventure where. Uh, okay, so Night Raven is an art teacher. His name is Sean Braddock. I based the name off of my best friend in high school. He was a big artist too, so he created a character named Chris. I created a character named Sean, so I, I never changed the name. It's always been Sean Braddock. And so Sean is, is an art teacher, he's also an artist. So one day, Bruce Wayne hires him to paint a mural in Wayne Manor. Well, he already knew who he was, and so there, there's a scene in there where he pulls out one of his a little, little bat. Bad rings and throws it at Night Raven, and Night Raven catches it. And he like, goes into a fight pose. He's like, you know, what kind of game are you playing? And he goes, I knew who you were the whole time.